Well, according to my math, I'm not getting home till 2 a.m. So I'll keep it short and sweet. I wasn't going to do a video, but you know what? I was going under the light, um, leaving Scioto, and I said, you know, um, we won two out of three here. The horses raced pretty good. All three of the ones raced here raced as good as they possibly could. Um, and a little bit of bad luck. Globe trotting made a break. I hadn't. I talked to Todd McCarthy this afternoon in Philadelphia and said, "Hey, you know, when when he raced, when she raced good for Matt, he just seemed to let her float out and sit her and do whatever." And I see. I was I was looking up. I came running off the track and I looked up just as she made a break. So I hadn't talked to Ronnie, who's not easy to get a hold of anyway. But I haven't talked to Todd McCarthy either about the about the mare and what happened. I really don't know other than she made a break. I'm sure there's going to be people saying, you know, are we putting the hobbles back on? No, we are not putting the hobbles back on globe trotting. I don't know why she made a break at the Meadowlands. That's two breaks at the Meadowlands, one at Yonkers. Pocono seems to be a good place. Um, listen, there's going to be bumps along the road as she gets a little more confidence, um, you know, trotting without the hobbles. And obviously, breaks don't help. But uh, she is still just a four-year-old, and she is growing, and she is going to be a good five-year-old for us. So I'm going to look at right now and the rest of the year as an opportunity for her to learn how to do her job at a higher level than she has ever done before. Just is what it is. We will move forward with uh, we'll move forward with uh, globe trotting. I'll talk to Ronnie, see what he wants to do. Um, first glance, like that's so unfair. You know, that's why I keep telling you guys. It doesn't matter how fast you go. It's just so unfair to have a horse that's going to race and now a 30 life and have to go 53. I don't care if they graded the track downhill. I raced at Grand River. 53 is a huge mile. Unless they put the pull, put the pylons back in somewhere other than they're supposed to be, that is an incredible mile over Grand River. And it's unfair to finish second going for, what, eight grand and pacing in 54, 53, and four. So, um, man, that's frustrating. I didn't get to see almost their boss's race, but his line looks good for a horse coming off sickness. Uh, I think he finished fourth, pace 56, 29 seconds on the end of it. I'll get a chance to watch it at some point tomorrow, but it looks like his line looks okay. Uh, and as far as the horses here, man, they were lights out. Uh, Spirit of Dio. Now, a huge update here. Spirit of Dio won a massive mile, 53 and three, first over in the last turn, 27 and three on the end of it and looked good looked like the spirit of deal that raced in indiana last year getting her mojo back bringing her out of the test burn notice a little blood in her nostril come down here scoped her two out of five for blood not only did she win not only did she look good very good she bled which is odd because we trained her on tuesday scoped her after she trained not even as much as redness there. So uh, I guess one could deduce from that maybe. Um, but I, she had a week off also. This is so weird. It's got to be the heat or something. Regardless, uh, I'm not going to split hairs on this. We immediately put her on the Lasex program. She'll miss 11 days and come back, uh, I would suspect, stronger than ever. So a uh, little odd that that happened but a great mile for her a man oh man that was a fantastic mile for her tonight and then path of totality you know this is the third time this happened this year ripped her shoe off in the post in the warm-up same shoe every goddamn time left front shoe guess which leg is the one with her bad knee left knee so I, I see it come off right away I go back and I pick it up and of course you ask the blacksmith to put it back on but there's not a lot of foot to work with did the best he could I looked down, we were at the quarter pole, there's no shoe in her foot. So I don't know where it came off, but it came off somewhere between the start and the quarter pole, I would suggest. So um, that isn't why I didn't remove her. I knew that if you guys remember back, the horse that I let go, that was long odds, I don't know why that horse was long odds, she was jogging the night that uh, it shows brakes on her card, three starts back, he was gone. Gonna beat the, gonna win easily and beat me very easily and made a break. So I didn't really care what the tote board said. I knew the horse was fairly legit. Coming off a qualifier, they raced her fairly easy on the front last week. But I doubt he dropped the hammer on her this week. And he was looking for me to remove. He said after I thought you'd come back. Ah uh, no. Anytime I can get a good toe with this filly, I'm gonna do the best I can to get her one. And she responded very very well. Three shoes and all. 
and was a winner in 157. And sandwiched in between them was a great mile from I'm a Lovely Lady. Now, last time we raced her here when I got parked, she didn't really want to leave. Man, I had to wrestle with her to get her out of the get her backed up behind them. I probably could have looped over in front of them, which would have got us some money. It just wasn't worth the risk of getting parked or run into the ground. So I opted for the, the conservative approach. Yes, we were sixth. But at the same time, she was very, very good. Uh, finished up very strong. I was very happy with I'm a Lovely Lady tonight. Couldn't be any more happy with what took place in Columbus, Ohio tonight. Um, New Jersey, not so pumped about New Jersey, what happened there, but that's racing. Uh, Ontario, uh, I, again, I didn't see the boss's race, but just very, very happy with first glance. And then obviously Pennsylvania, we had uh, Bad Luck Rose, run, Rose above it was a little sick. He's done for the year. I'm turning him out. We're going to race him all fall and winter. He's not going to be a stake horse. Fine. I guarantee you he'll be a useful horse. Um, I don't know what went on with him today. Otherwise, I, I guess, you know, he scoped like two out of five for Mucus. But he certainly he raced like he was six out of five for Mucus. So I think, um, you know, when you get to August of the two-year-old season and they get sick, it, it takes its toll. I think it's enough. And really, there's no reason to continue racing him for what? try and clean him up on antibiotics and electrolytes to race him next week in the stallion series well, that's just silly so we're going to give him some time off bring him back have a nice horse for the fall late late fall probably closer to winter and throughout the winter um what else um again very pleased with i guess not pleased with ty went on but after looking at the scope knowing what went on you know the entire day she did what she could you can't sit here and be angry when a horse did everything they could. Be like going home saying, oh, first glance should have won. It's, they can only do what they can do. And it's very difficult. Uh, as I said, I can't speak for everybody on Terry. I know first glance tried as hard as he could. Uh, I don't know, but almost Airbus, I assume he did. Looks like a good line. I can guarantee you everybody tried as hard as they could here in Sayota. It's been a great summer. When the horses work as hard as we do, I guess this is the result you get. So if we continue to keep good horses around... Hopefully, we will have good results. So, 2 a.m., I'll be home, but I'll be up at 7 because we are going to Tioga. Amy and I and the kids are going to Tioga. Now, I noticed Addie was coughing a bit today, so maybe uh, we'll have to call an audible tomorrow. I hope they can all come because uh, this is one of the last weekends for us because Amy is going home um, for Ollie's baseball very, very soon. So, our life is going to get even more complicated, if you can imagine that come uh the next week so uh i hope you guys were part of uh, a group that did well tonight if you didn't and you were part of a horse that maybe didn't do so well rest assured i can't think of any horses that went behind the gate today that didn't do everything they possibly could so we'll leave it there we'll pick it up tomorrow or the next day i hope you guys had a great day the weather's nice always a silver lining take care